Alright. Just wanted to let everybody know, I've taken apart a lot of TVs, and I've taken apart a lot of monitors, CRTs, cathode ray tubes, and uh, we, we pull the circuit boards out of them, and we pull the uh, deflection beam windings out of them, and, uh, but really, I just want you, everybody to know, the main benefit and the main ma raw material that we harvest from uh, vision tubes, TVs, whether they be monitors, old monitors, whatnot, is this grounding wire, which is, I believe, the anode wire, okay, that connects, this is a big square, you connect this to ground, right here on the circuit board usually, and uh, this, this entire uh, mass of wires goes around the tube and grounds it and gives it a backup place to go to because it, it I'll, I'll show you guys when I take one apart but the main deal is this is what they look like you cut these suckers loose you pull them from around the tube around the TV cut them open and they're just what it is it's just a, uh, a mass of this magnet wire and it's wrapped really tightly and really admirably and, and well with uh, electrical tape you cut it Pull off the electrical tape, and then you're left with nothing but magnet wire. Now, this is like a bundle of, I'll probably say 20, 15 or 20, and it depends on the tube, because sometimes you pull apart TVs that have like a bundle of 50 wires. Sometimes it'll be copper, and sometimes it'll be tin. But you pull it apart, and it's all these enameled wires, which are great for winding your own transformers, winding your own toroid coils, and uh, other different types of transformers. Just a, it's an insulation that's put on the wire that's really, really thin, and so it's that's why it's ideal for winding coils from because you can wind it and get the least amount of physical separation between the copper conductors and each other and all the other windings. So, anyways, that's what I grab. There's usually this size of a loop. And it usually has an interface wire or whatever. This this connects to the PCB to the circuit board. And uh, so, if I was to cut this and separate it apart, I'd say it's at least six feet, closer to eight feet on a lot of them, of magnet wire. Excellent resource. Take advantage of it.